story to tell. Sovremeni is a class of destroyer in the service of the Soviet Navy, and now the Russian Navy, with the main task of anti-surface ships, and capable of participating in close and long-range naval battles with superior capabilities. Currently, the Russian Navy has only two operating ships, Bystri and Admiral Lushikov, while Nastoy Chivai is undergoing overhaul. Sovremeni is also active in the Chinese Navy, with four ships. The Sovremeni class, also known by the Soviet name Project 956 Surich. The class was designed to complement the Udaloy class destroyers, which were fitted primarily for anti-submarine operations. As mentioned, the main task of Sovremeni is to fight surface ships, however, the capabilities such as air defense and anti-submarine warfare are also quite complete to protect the fleet. Sovremeni is one of the solutions that perfectly combine with Udaloy class destroyers in patrol, anti-submarine, escort and protection missions. The first of the class was named Sovremeni. The ship was launched in 1976 and commissioned into the Northern Red Star Fleet in 1980. A total of 18 ships were ordered for the Soviet Navy, but only 12 were completed, due to financial shortfalls and the cost of training sailors for the new ships. Displacement is 6,600 tons under standard load, and 8,500 tons under full load. Dimensions include a running length of 511.9 feet, with a beam of 56.8 feet, and a draft of 21.3 feet. Power is from four boiler units, feeding two steam turbines, producing 100,000 horsepower to two shafts. There are two turbo generators and two diesel generators, complete the propulsion scheme. The ship's maximum speed is just under 33 knots. At a fuel economic speed of 18 knots, the range is 3,920 miles. The ship's combat systems can use target designation data from the ship's active and passive sensors, from other ships in the fleet, from surveillance aircraft, or via communications link from the ship's helicopter. The multi-channel defense suite is capable of striking several targets simultaneously. The ship is outfitted with the Raduga Moskit anti-ship missile system, with two four-cell launchers installed port and starboard of the forward island, and set at an angle about 15 degrees. The ship carries a total of eight Moskit 3M80E missiles, NATO designation SSN-22 Sunburn. The missile is sea-skimming with a velocity of Mach 2.5, armed with a 300kg high explosive or a nuclear 200 kilotons warhead. The range is from 10 to 120 kilometers. The launch weight is 4,000 kilograms. Two still surface-to-air missile systems are installed, each on the raised deck behind the twin-barreled 130mm guns. Shtil is the export name of the SAN-7, NATO reporting name Gadfly. The system uses the ship's three-dimensional circular scan radar for target tracking. Up to three missiles can be aimed simultaneously. The range is up to 30 kilometers against targets with speeds up to 830 meters per second. The ship carries 40H still missiles. The ship has four six-barreled 30 mm AK-630 autocannon systems. The maximum rate of fire is 5,000 rounds per minute ranges up to 4,000 meters for low-flying anti-ship missiles and 5,000 meters for light surface targets. The gun is outfitted with radar and television detection and tracking. The latest Sovremenis carry the cached in close and weapon system instead of AK-630. The destroyers have two double 533mm torpedo tubes and two six-barrel RBU-1000 anti-submarine rocket launchers, with 48 rockets. Range is 1000m. The ship's helicopter pad and telescopic hangar accommodates one com of Ka-27 anti-submarine warfare helicopter. The helicopter can operate in conditions up to sea state 5, and up to 200 kilometers from the host ship.
For the Chinese Navy, in the 1990s, a total of four Sovereign Many class destroyers were purchased. These are their most powerful surface warships for a long time, dubbed the Four Diamonds of the East China Sea. However, before the rapid development of the Chinese Navy, these four ships quickly became obsolete, while the exploitation time was not long, so they planned to fully modernize them. Most recently, for the first time, the PLA Navy displayed the newly installed YJ-12 supersonic anti-ship missile launchers on Hangzhou, one of four destroyers. According to Chinese media, the YJ-12 is almost impossible to intercept, because its fast speed only leaves the enemy with a mere 10 or so seconds, to attempt an intercept. As part of the modernization program to upgrade the warship delivered by Russia in 1999, eight YJ-12 anti-ship missiles replaced the original eight Russian-made Sunburn missiles, a 32-unit vertical launch missile system for the HQ-16 air defense missiles, that replaced the original two sets of Stil air defense missile systems, and the ship's electronic systems were also comprehensively upgraded, Chinese media reported. China's domestically developed advanced weapons and equipment significantly enhances the ship's combat capability. As China's related technologies nowadays have far surpassed that of Russia's when the ships were delivered, a Chinese military expert told the Global Times. My video about the software many class answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.